Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. We should all be glad that we live in a much more developed and advanced world compared to that of our ancestors. Modernity and engineering have changed our lives now that we have machines for everything. But everything hasn't gone as planned. Huge engineering disasters have led to the terrible loss of money and people's lives. Let's have a look at the top 10 worst engineering mistakes humans have made. Number 10. The walkway collapse in the Hyatt Regency Hotel You would think that hotels are supposed to be calm and peaceful. You could go there and have fun and rest, with everything delivered to you by room service. They are definitely not supposed to collapse. That too, on top of people having a party. But that is exactly what happened at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City. On July 17, 1981, two vertical walkways collapsed in the lobby of the Hyatt Regency Hotel. The first walkway fell down on top of another walkway, and both of them collapsed on a tea dance party being held below it. The incident claimed the lives of 114 people. In 1981, this structural collapse was considered the deadliest in the history of America. On further investigation, they found pretty serious flaws in the design of both the walkways. Moreover, the engineers who had initially worked on designing the walkways and approving them were convicted of misconduct and gross negligence. Horrible design and use of beams that could support only 30% of the load was the cause of the collapse. They even lost their engineering license. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Chernobyl Disaster The Chernobyl disaster is the worst, most deadly nuclear accident of all time, and also the costliest mistake humans have ever made. If you don't know about it, you should definitely watch the HBO miniseries Chernobyl on the disaster. They weren't really innovative with the name. The human cost of the disaster was so huge, they still haven't been able to put a number on it. The economic cost was also as big. It was estimated that the disaster cost $200 to $400 billion. The worst part is, it occurred due to some totally preventable mistakes. On April 25, 1986, a drill simulating a power outage at Chernobyl led to uncontrolled reactions and a steam fire that burned for nine days. 134 workers were hospitalized due to radiation exposure, and 31 of them died in the following few weeks. 14 of them would later die from cancer, possibly caused by the radiation. The Chernobyl power plant ran on a Soviet-designed reactor that wasn't up to code for usage anywhere else in the world. Design flaws in that reactor caused the terrible incident, and irreparable damage occurred. Number 8. The Gretna Rail Disaster Trains have been here longer than any other mode of transfer. Nowadays, people don't really use trains much, but a century or two back, trains were used a lot as they helped move people and resources around the country. But due to a lot of usages, railroad disasters weren't uncommon. May 1915 saw one of the worst rail disasters that have ever happened in British history. This tragedy killed more than 226 people, but a definitive number or list of victims was never established. You know it is a huge disaster when the loss of life is uncountable. After an investigation, it was found that the reason behind the disaster, as expected, was human error. It was not a concrete engineering failure, but the events unfolded due to the ignorance and carelessness of the engineers. Number 7. Bhopal Disaster If you think engineers are only in charge of building stuff, then you have it terribly wrong. They also have the duty of maintenance, and failing to do so can result in disasters. In fact, almost half of the engineering mistakes are due to the lack of maintenance, just like the Bhopal disaster. In 1984, there was a toxic gas released at a Union Carbide pesticide plant in Bhopal, India. Reports show that the combination of a number of substandard conditions, consistent violation of safety regulations, maintenance negligence, and overall disregard for safety was what ultimately caused what is considered to be the worst industrial accident in history. The chain of events started when, somehow, water got into a methyl isocyanate tank 
triggering an exothermic reaction, which was gravely worsened by a variety of factors, including iron from corroding steel pipes. The increase in pressure was ignored as a system malfunction. Even after the leak was found, the workers were too lazy and decided to work on it after the tea break. By the time the tea break ended, the condition of the tank was critical and the emergency relief valve burst open, releasing toxic gas directly into the atmosphere. That is not all. Two of the three safety devices in place to mitigate the atmospheric release of the deadly gas were either of inappropriate size, malfunctioning, or otherwise not operational. Number 6. Charles de Gaulle Airport The Charles de Gaulle Airport disaster reflects one of the biggest engineering failures. The airport was inaugurated in May 2004, and soon after, a huge portion of the roof of Terminal E collapsed. Due to the collapse, four people died immediately, and three people incurred heavy injuries. Later, when the place was examined, experts did not find any fault. But due to pressure from the families who lost their loved ones in the disaster, the inquiry team did a thorough check. And that is when they found that the roof was not strong enough to hold heavy metal pillars. After this disaster, they reconstructed the terminal, which cost them as much as $120 million. The airport was reopened in 2008. Now they are planning to add more terminals. We just hope the roof is strong enough this time. Number 5. Apollo This is the disaster you must be most familiar with. The Apollo 13 disaster is quite popular, as it resulted in two iconic Hollywood films. This crippled flight to the moon took place in 1970. There were technical errors in the ship even before it left the Earth. An oxygen tank on Apollo 13 exploded merely two days after its launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on the 11th of April 1970. This explosion caused massive hardship to the crew members as they suffered from limited power, lack of potable water, loss of cabin heat, and much more. The only thing saving them from being swallowed by space was an aluminum sheet that was coating the ship. After a long trip that was full of hardships, they managed to return to Earth on the 17th of April safely. Number 4. Titanic At over 800 feet in length and with a weight of 46,000 tons, the Titanic was the largest ship ever built in 1912. It's hard to even imagine engineers were able to pull this off. But not everything is perfect, right? Although its design succeeded to impress the masses aesthetically, the iceberg wasn't the only reason the ship sank to the bottom of the ocean, killing many on board, even Leonardo DiCaprio. The ship's material failures and design flaws have led researchers to believe that safety was probably not the primary focus during its construction. More than half of the 2,200 people that were aboard the Titanic suffered the consequences. It only took 180 minutes after the collision for the ship to make its descent to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Five of the watertight compartments were completely flooded, a critical failure probably caused by the reduction of the height of the bulkheads for better accommodation of the first-class public rooms. There were many other factors, and all these considerations are now applied to the construction of large ships as cautionary measures, and many safety regulations have been established since to avoid similar disasters to ever happen again. Number 3. The Hindenburg Disaster The Hindenburg Disaster at Lakehurst, New Jersey in 1937 brought an end to the age of airships. Airships were getting a lot of hype back then, even though airship disasters were common. The wealthy passengers who could afford to travel in it could travel from Europe to North and South America in half the time of the fastest ocean liner. And they traveled in luxurious interiors that would never again be matched in the air. They enjoyed meals in an elegant dining room, listened to an aluminum piano in a modern lounge, and slept in comfortable cabins. It was a private jet of the early 20th century. All that came to an end in 32 seconds because above the elegant passenger quarters were 7 million cubic feet of hydrogen gas. The Hindenburg disaster was caused by an electrostatic spark that ignited leaking hydrogen. But it didn't kill everyone on board. Anyone who has seen the graphic newsreel video of the Hindenburg plunging to Earth in flames may be amazed to know that of the 97 passengers and crew on board, 62 survived. Many survivors jumped out of the Zeppelin's windows and ran away as fast as they could. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. 
Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Bridge Disasters This picture shows an engineer's worst nightmare — a misaligned bridge halfway through its construction. We cannot even imagine how the engineer or the architect behind the design of this bridge would feel about it. Sadly, this picture isn't real. But there have been many bridge disasters in history, including the Quebec Bridge. With its span of 1,801 feet, it is still the world's largest ever cantilever bridge. The bridge collapsed the first time on August 29, 1907. During the collapse, the workers were working on the cantilever arm. 55 people reportedly died by either drowning or from falling debris. The Board of Engineers felt they had learned from their mistakes and decided to rebuild the bridge. Yet again, on the 11th of September 1916, the bridge's central span crumbled, killing 13 workers. The total damage cost of the two disasters was estimated at $22 million. But this disaster is nothing compared to what we are going to show you now. Number 1. Skylab Disaster Apollo 13 wasn't the only space disaster that took place in the 20th century. NASA launched the U.S. Space Station in 1973. It was the world's first successful space station. Skylab collected huge amounts of data, including 175,000 solar images. It also gathered useful information on the biological impact of living in space for a prolonged period. It was a slap in the face for Russia, who was trying their best to beat the USA in space exploration. But the slap backfired when NASA abandoned the space station in 1974. Five years later, Skylab's orbit started deteriorating towards the Earth. On the 11th of June 1979, the empty Skylab broke up in the atmosphere and showered fiery debris onto Australia and the Indian Ocean. Skylab was reportedly designed to go up but not land back to Earth. Rookie mistake, NASA! The orbit deterioration started far earlier than NASA had anticipated, and they were not able to control it. The cost of the project of building a single unit was an astonishing $2.2 billion. Is there any engineer in our audience? What do you think about these mistakes? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.